Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another video of Vintage TV and Radio Stuff. And today, it's not overly vintage, but it is a little, a little different. Uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, other videos, uh, you've noticed that I've had a few uh, electronics that were used in uh, prisons. I had the prison TV video, a couple of them actually, and a prison radio, AM FM radio. Today I've got the GPX model CR 1807CLR. It's an AM FM clock radio made by GPX Company, headquartered in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, it's a company that's been around for quite a while now, makes uh, and imports uh, lots of electronics from uh, overseas, obviously, and distributes them under the Grand Prix name or GPX. Still around. You can still buy their products in stores and online, too. But this one's a little different. It's the clear prison radio designed for uh, incarceration purposes. And we've gone through, through this before, the reason why. Uh, they don't want anybody hiding anything inside of uh, televisions or radios or any other products, for that matter. Uh, so they have a clear plastic uh, container. <laughs> so nobody can hide anything. And I'll kind of bounce around the sides of this and show you some of the features, but we'll also try to get a little closer in here and, and take a look at the guts as we look inside. Uh, in the front, there is the digital display for the time and a few other things that uh, are included there too, including the auto uh, selector uh, light that comes on. Uh, there's also a PM light that comes on uh, with the digital display. Your AM FM bands are on the bottom there, and then that snazzy GPX logo on the right. On the side you've got the tuning and the uh, band selection switch. You can also notice a little sticker right there from the Wisconsin Department of Corrections. If you watched the other videos before, those stickers are there to uh, keep the product sealed up, basically. If you break the seal, you get in trouble. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that was the situation for the inmates that were using these products back a few years ago. On this side, we've got the uh, high and low dim selector for the uh, display. You've got the off and then on switch to turn the radio off and on. And then the auto is used to uh, uh, set uh, the alarm. And then there's the volume knob right next to that. Here on the back, there is the headphone jack and then an FM antenna. This is designed, uh, I would imagine, in, especially in an enclosed area like a prison, where reception probably is pretty bad. Uh, you have to have uh, some master antenna thing, and then the uh, cables go into each cell. And Although, uh, the uh, non-prison model of this radio, and there is such a thing, it's the CR-1807, uh, without the CLR, uh, I believe that also has an FM antenna. Uh, coax cable input on the back too. And here's the bottom of the radio. It has all the basic details about the model number and such. Some uh, other uh, stickers and things on there. Caution um, stuff. Room for a, a, a battery, a transistor battery for the backup. However, in the prison setting this was not used because as you can see that sticker is right over the top of it. So nobody yeah, ever put any kind of a backup battery in here. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to show you the top of it. Uh, there's the speaker here, obviously. Then below that are some important buttons. The hour button is there to allow you to choose the hour to when you're setting the time and when you're setting your, your alarm. Uh, then the time button, you hold that down when you set the time on the alarm clock. Uh, the minute, of course, sets the minutes. Uh, sleep is a sleep function. You can, you can set that to uh, run for X number of minutes before it shuts itself off. Uh, and then the alarm is where you can actually set your, your time to wake up alarm. And then uh, below that you have the snooze button. All right, I've got this plugged in and I've set the time for 1.13 a.m. Uh, I think I've set the alarm to go off at 1.15. Let me just double check on that. 1.18, okay. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on. And I do not know if I have it on AM or FM. I think it uh, I think it's on AM. 
Okay, this is probably the FM band. Uh, here is the tuner. Cramps. Although these are people who are not necessarily. So, uh, volume control, there it is. So it doesn't, doesn't work too badly. It gets, gets some stations in, quite a few in here. That's the FM band. Here's AM, not much going on here as usual. Okay, well, it comes in, station's coming pretty good, and uh, the volume's not too bad. So let's go ahead and set this on auto here. All right, I've got it so that the alarm will be going off at 1.18 a.m., so we're only about a half a minute away from that, I think. Uh, so we'll see what that alarm sounds like in just a few seconds. Then after that, I'll kind of get a little closer here and show you uh, some of the inside parts of this. Although the top is kind of dirty. It looks like it's dirty from the inside, basically. So I'm not sure uh, what happened to this one, if it got dropped in something or whatever, but uh, pretty soon it'll be time to get up and make some license plates. There we go. So it wakes up with the radio. There does not appear to be an actual alarm. Um, because it's on auto here, so. But you can obviously go back to bed <laughs> by hitting the snooze button. And I think that the alarm will just turn it off too, obviously. So there you go, that, that is the, uh, the GPX model CR1807 CLR. Uh, CLR obviously standing for clear. Prison radio. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll leave you with some uh, closer looks at the internal parts of the radio. Thanks for watching.